It's a good investment. Story number one. Mm-hmm. Am I the asshole for snapping at my coworker and bringing up the state of her marriage? Oh. Oh, yeah. That's that's not that's not you right. Got, you got to control yourself. I feel like there was an yeah. there was a, at least an emotion involved in this. <laughs> one. One. At least one. Maybe two. At least one. And, and considering the title of the show. No, I think there was two emotions. Uh, this person's emotion and then the emotion that happened between the person and their spouse that had nothing to do with that person. Mm. That's two emotions. Mm. Yeah. The, the I'm going to go with yes. Yeah. Because the term snapping at. Yeah, they already know. And that, they, yeah. already know. They, they already know. They already know. And the fact of the matter is, like, we don't got to bring that into this. That's, yeah. that's not your place, man. Right. Other yeah. people's relationships are none of your fucking business. There you go. That's true. Fair. Very fair. Okay. So are we all going with asshole here? Is asshole. That what's happening? Oh, okay. uh, yeah, yeah. United asshole. Ooh. I have been in this job for five years. I have also been married to my husband for the same duration. Mm -hmm. Except nope. for the year that we are working from home, my husband, who is a florist, has been sending me small bouquets of flowers every Monday. Think three Aww. roses, a small bunch of baby's breath, just small arrangements. Huh. Hmm, I have a cute. small vase on my desk where I put them. This year, a new woman joined our workplace. The first Monday she was here when I received my bouquet, she asked if it was a special day. Another coworker said that it was just a weekly gift from my husband. She made a face and changed the subject. Mm -hmm. But she started making comments every single money Monday when the receptionist brings my gifts in. Small things like, well, we can't all afford to waste our money on stuff like that. Or, don't you think that's a bit what? tacky? I never reacted to her jabs. Oh. I am a pro at selective hearing. This last Monday, she went over the line, in my opinion, and said, I think your hubby is overcompensating. Are you sure he doesn't have a mistress? I was pissed, what and I said, fuck? well, some of us love our spouses and like to show it. Not all of us are staying in a toxic relationship for the sake of keeping up appearances. Which was a low blow, since I knew that she was having trouble with her husband. Ooh. She started Ooh. sobbing and left work early. And while every single person in the office says I was in the right, that I was more patient than they would have been in my situation, I can't help but feel like I went too far. So, mm. am I the asshole? Oh, man. This is rough. This is... this is a rough one right out the gate. Yeah. I feel like this is so hard because, like... Because she was a real cunt. Yeah, like, <laughs> she shouldn't have said the things she said, but... Mm -hmm. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. She so totally deserved it, though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's... Well, it's also, like, one of those things where it's... it's I Like, I'm... Place. I'm taking the situation... Or I'm sorry, like the surrounding environment into consideration here as well, because like mm. it is a work environment, work and like if this person right. is legitimately like shit talking you about just receiving mm. flowers from your husband every week and like calling you out on that, like that's an HR problem. It is, yeah, like, right. That is yeah. that is HR. Hey, this person is not minding their business; they're getting into mine. They're harassing and, me, and, and, and yeah, because at that point it is harassment, and mm. while. I, you know, it, listen, talk shit, you're going to get hit back. So, like, I can understand that. You know, I can understand mm -hmm. the frustration. I could understand, you know, just the snap of, like, yeah, well, fuck you. You're in a bad marriage. Um, but, like, is it the right place to say that? Right, and, like, that's where I'm stuck. That's kind of the thing. Yeah. It's, it, yeah. It, I, I get the frustration. Yeah. I do. I really do. Like I understand how absolutely nonsensical the shit this lady probably said to mm -hmm. her. But snapping back like that obviously is mm -hmm. not that it's the two wrongs don't make a right, right. situation, I feel like. Yeah. But I, like I mean if this was I on the it, street, I get it. Yeah. Like if this was on the street, street, I'd be like, "Oh, yeah. all bets are off." Like, yeah, snap back. That you know, totally fine. Right. Like yeah. if this if this was somebody else, like you went to go pick it up and it was just somebody that was always there. Yeah. It wasn't a coworker specifically. Yeah. Like a neighbor or you know, somebody else. Yeah. You, you know, Fenton makes a point, like putting it up 
putting up with it for a full year versus one huge fuck you. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the lady wasn't in the right for saying it. No, 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 no. Absolutely no. not. Mm. I'm still going to say not the asshole. Not the asshole. I'm going to say not the asshole because sometimes you got to fight fire with fire. You know? I, yeah. yeah. I mean, I just can't believe that not a single other person told this woman to cut her fucking shit. Right? That's, thing. that's like, no, the that's manager. A, yeah. That's what I want to know. Like, everybody saw this happening, and not one person was like, hey, stop being a bitch. Like, yeah. To the point they're like that you're a better person waiting a whole year to blow up on her. Right. Means mm -hmm. that they all already noticed how much of a mm -hmm. bitch she was being. Yeah. Right? Like, and nobody mm. decided to say anything. To me, that's a bad work environment. So you know who I ooh, you know who I think the Pasta real asshole file. is? Ooh. The boss. Ooh. The boss is creating ooh. a bad work environment because they're an absentee Pasta boss. Work environment. They're not paying attention okay. to their employees. They have employees mm -hmm. invading other people's personal lives. Mm -hmm. I, I highly doubt this woman only said things when this happened too. If she wasn't gossiping to other people and other people weren't shutting that shit down, like I'd be surprised could, right. he, here's a thought could Ooh. we put blame on the entire office oh easily yeah because that's because because that's kind of where i'm thinking yes. like they're watching you, know, you got a point this there. abuse yeah. basically right this lady is abusing her co-worker and nobody is like don't do that don't yeah, do who's that stepping up yeah nobody's you know? stepping up no like because here's the thing this woman is cl clearly going around and like gossiping as you said taking like talking shit about other people um clearly she's management clearly in a doesn't bad care place and she's like projecting that on oh, everybody oh, else yeah. like you yeah. could tell you could tell that's what's happening but this also seems like a very catty office where people just shit talk behind everybody's back yeah. or like they're all just they like live for the drama they live for, they live for the drama which i hate and i can't stand so i'm saying office is the asshole off Office and managerial people are the asshole. Yeah. Everyone but this person. Yeah, no, this person is not definitely. Not the they, I would be more willing they, to go that route. Yeah. 